without any extra hardware or anything, you can either bring a Zoom show into Wirecast or you can bring Wirecast into a Zoom conference. So first, let's talk about how you can bring in remote guests. You can integrate, you know, multi-camera production and you can stream your Zoom calls to YouTube. Let's go to the next slide now and let's talk about how you would do it with uh, Zoom call into Wirecast workflow. And Jeremy, I'll let you, you review that workflow for our guests. Yeah, awesome. So um, pretty excited about this because I have some some major clients uh, doing doing Zoom uh, Zoom workflows with Wirecast. One of them specifically was telling me they have like ten to twenty thousand uh, people in their Zoom uh, room, their Zoom webinar, and then they will um, they'll activate people as presenters when they want them to go live. You know. Most of us aren't doing ten to ten to twenty thousand viewers on their on our Zoom. We're doing like you know maybe ten, fifteen viewers. Uh, so it's a whole lot easier. And you just put lay them up in a tile format in Zoom and do a screen grab of the video that you want to to capture in. Place that screen grab into Wirecast. Uh, if you want it a little bit more advanced, you can pin the part the zoom participant as a, as a full screen and do a screen grab of that so it's a little higher resolution and that's what my client does uh they do a full screen um actually on a on a laptop they'll they'll pin them on a laptop and bring in that audio and video uh with remote desktop presenter which is part of wirecast and and pull in that video and audio and that gives them a lot more control and then going back out to Zoom, you will have to have Zoom installed or running on your Wirecast system. And then you activate the webcam, the virtual webcam, webcam feature in Wirecast, Let's which is that in the, Adam. Adam. Yeah, that's in the, the output settings of Wirecast. You activate the virtual webcam. The first time you do it, you're going to have to install the drivers. So um, don't try and do this you know, five minutes before a show. Do your testing because uh, it will have you restart, restart your computer. But the virtual camera output of Wirecast then can feed into Zoom, just like it were a webcam attached to your to your Zoom session. So, so just like you're able to, to choose your PTZ Optics webcam or your Logitech webcam in Zoom or your eyesight from a, from a MacBook Pro, you can you'll see Wirecast virtual camera as a source into Zoom, and that takes the the production output of Wirecast as a camera feed going out to all the Zoom participants.